What's good people? How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, please do subscribe down below, smash the like and all that good stuff, man. Today's episode is going to be a banger because it's all about, you guessed it, seedlings. It's super important to start your seedlings off right, man. So in today's episode, I'm going to give you guys all my tips, all my tricks, everything that I do and I've learned over the years about how to pop your seedlings, how to get things started off so you can have some really nice plants starting off from young and growing into some really nice plants flowering beautiful girls man so let's get into today's episode smash the like and hit the bell and let's get into it Yes, guys. Now, seedlings are super important, man. It's the first step to getting everything going, right? And to start things off, what I like to do is use that Qualitrips Germination Booster. This works great. It's actually a great little way that you can get your seeds started because if your seeds don't pop, it doesn't even get out of the soil. Bruh. What are you going to do? You're probably not going to have any plants at all, man. You can't even get to the seedling stage if your seeds don't pop. So the first thing I like to do is hit it that Germination Booster. That way, I can make sure my beans germinate and I'm off to the races, man. It's also got a nice little nutrient mix in there for all your seedlings so it can really help them get started and just get them going really healthy and something else that I've started to do recently guys is start my beans off in these little seed starting pellets or jiffy pods man it's pretty much the same thing as some of those rapid rooty cubes rock wool cubes whatever you want to call it man but the main idea is that it's a sterile environment man now a lot of people start their beans off directly into the soil into their medium that's no problem at all I've actually had a lot of success doing that but a lot of times these soils have their own microclimates their own microbiologies and little environments going on in that medium and sometimes there may be little critters in there that like to chew on those roots and because the seedlings are super sensitive and they haven't really established that root base if anything happens to those little roots before they're fully formed that can be it it's over before it's even started and that's something that I've actually battled with a lot in my last few runs when I first started growing this was not an issue at all but as I got more into the growing and I reused my soil and, and re-amended mediums and really got all sorts of stuff going on in there I noticed that, that those little small seedlings in the roots they're just disappearing man and I don't know where they're gone so so for me, seed starting pellets, a little sterile environment really works great. And that's how I started the Freak Show, the Chill Out OG by Mr. Grow It, a lot of different things recently, man. So it's a really great foolproof way to get things started off right. Perfect. Now, another pro tip for healthy seedlings, guys, is using one of these domes, man. A humidity dome goes a long friggin' way to keeping your seedlings happy, healthy, and alive. Seedlings need high humidity, so you can grab a seedling dome or you can really get super creative and use a small mini dome instead. Or you can get even more creative and do what I like to do sometimes and just double solo cup method, man. A clear one and a cover. Bruh. A clear one and a colored one. You don't want the roots to get any light, but you do want some light up here and you want to maintain that humidity. Humidity or RH is super important for seedlings because if they don't have that, they'll literally just shrivel up and die. They really need that high RH. Moisture content is really important. And that's why the little seedling domes work so great. All you gotta do is to grab a spray bottle, spray a couple of Pump a couple of sprays up in there and close it up and you got a lot of moisture locked in there. If you're using a solo cup, same thing. Now some people even use Ziploc bags or sandwich bags, but the concept is pretty much the same. You just pop it over top like that and your seedling should be off to the races. Nice high humidity in there. Now if you ain't got a bunch of space for the domes, you can just get rid of those, man. A great way to increase RH without using any of those things, no humidifier or nothing like that. Pop a few extra plants in there, man. A lot of plants have leaves. Those leaves are actually what transpire and cause a lot of humidity increases when your tent is sealed off. So if you have a little small grow tent, pop them in that small grow tent, seal it up a little bit, and add a couple more plants in there. You'll watch that humidity rise. But don't do that if your plants are in flower. You want to avoid bud rot. But for seedlings, they love that higher RH, man. Ideal percentages for me is around 70, 75%. I can go lower, like maybe 65, but I try not to go too low if I'm being honest with you guys. Now, once your plant's roots have established themselves, you want to use some of that Dynomyco or some sort of mycorrhizal inoculant. Personally, I love Dynomyco. It works great for me. A lot of the strains of mycorrhizal fungi in here are actually geared towards your medicinal plants, not all sorts of other crazy plants that you're not actually growing. Now, a lot of people have been asking, how do I actually apply the Dynomyco? Well, it's really simple, man. Just apply it to the roots. When you transplant, every single time you transplant, apply it to the roots. Your plant will love it. The root system will triple as these mycorrhizal inoculants cause hyphae and stuff to just create a real nice network within those roots where they can uptake more nutrients and your plants will be super healthy. Now another pro tip guys is to grab one of those 
seedling mats, man. I've got a great seedling mat here from Mars Hydro. Shout out to my homie Hipsters and Hippies. He knows this is the mega seedling mat because it's friggin' massive. But I use it all the time. And since I've used this, my seedlings have gotten so much happier, so much healthier, and I've seen so much more explosive growth. So simple stuff like grabbing a, a seedling mat, dropping it down in your grow space and using that. And it's super simple. All you gotta do is plug it in. But the main thing is that it warms up the root zone, warms up the root base. A lot of people know that roots don't like a lot of cold. If your roots are sitting on the floor in the basement, it's probably not gonna be doing too well. Bruh. Grab a little ceiling mat, throw it under there, and watch the magic happen. Perfect. Now, Mars Hydro's got some great grow products from lights to tents to carbon filters, fans, exhaust systems, all sorts of stuff, man. They've even got drip irrigation systems as well. Yo, what's good, people? Breaking news, man. I'm sorry to interrupt your scheduled programming, but we have a massive announcement, guys. This is that new Mars Hydro light. Guys, Mars Hydro's been doing bar style lights for the longest while now and that is all we run on this channel man so i just want to show you guys this this is that new fc and fce led it's a banging light it's a fully smart light so you don't need to do anything everything runs through the app man it's dope as hell and thanks to mars hydro we got a special offer for the ican fam all the ican thc viewers subscribers everyone you guys can get an exclusive discount so in total we're looking at a 15 percent discount and a 10% discount on top of that, man. So in everything, that's like 25% off, guys. So definitely check that out. It lasts from now until June 30th, end of next month, guys. So you guys definitely check it out. Get, tune in, man. Tap in. These lights are friggin' amazing. Check out my Instagram. Check out some of the great flower that we can grow under it. And hit that discount code for an extra discount. I can THC discount code. I can THC works on everything. But to get that special 10% off on top of these lights hit I can THC 10 I can THC 10 use that discount code for everything else use I can THC as the discount code grab a double discount guys don't miss it cuz this light foldable detachable it's amazing trust me so upgrade your grow upgrade your setup and cop some of that Mars hydro goodness man now something else that I actually wanted to mention you guys is airflow and drainage. Drainage is super important. So in my double solo cup methods, I pop a massive hole in the bottom so that way a lot of the water could run straight through. If I do overwater, a lot of that water will just run straight through into the second cup which I call my reservoir cup and I just toss that out. Also, you can bottom water, and bottom watering is a great way to promote that root growth and avoid overwatering issues. I actually did a whole video on bottom watering, so check it out, and if you haven't checked that out, you're probably missing out on a great way to water your plants. Now, I did also mention airflow, and airflow is super important. Seedlings are super fragile, and a lot of times the slightest breeze can knock them right over. So having a little fan or a gentle breeze blowing on those young seedlings is a great idea. But you gotta be careful though, cause that fan can lower your humidity and cause that humidity to drop quite a little bit. So while your seedlings are in the humidity dome, you probably don't need to use a fan. But when they do get a little bit more established and they can get that dome off, then I'll probably get a fan in there, get a light breeze going so that they can really stiffen up those stems and they don't just topple over. Now I mentioned bottom watering, that's a great way to water if you're completely concerned about overwatering your seedlings, man. But another great way to water your plants if you're concerned about overwatering is just use a spray bottle. Just use a spray bottle, spray a couple sprays in there, and you're good to go. It's a lot harder to overwater if you're using a control spray action store type bottle. If you're using a watering can or a cup and you're just going in there, then you're definitely probably going to overwater at some point. Now, we've touched on a lot of different things when it comes to seedlings, man. And the last thing I wanted to talk about is the lights. Because lights are super important, man. You guys know Mars Hydro's got some banging lights. So I'm not here to talk about that. But what I want to talk about is the light intensity and light distance. Perfect. Now, we all know seedlings need light. Plants need light. But seedlings don't need a whole lot of it. So don't get too crazy. If you get too crazy, your plants can get burned. Light burn is a real thing, even with seedlings, guys. But you gotta find that right balance, because if you just put your lights too high, and you're saying, okay, I don't wanna get any light burn, so I'm gonna put my lights super high, you may run into the issue of your seedlings stretching, and you have some super stretchy seedlings, and that just doesn't look good either. So you gotta find that right balance between light intensity and light distance. Personally, I can have the lights a little bit lower down, closer to the plants, but I have it on a lower intensity, lower setting, and that way it works out great. So, something to think about. Because like I said, no one's setup is the same and the distance from your canopy to your lights may vary. 
So don't bash your seedlings with light and they'll be happy, man. Now those are a couple of the things that I picked up when it comes to seedlings over the years of growing and those things have helped me out quite a bit. Now I've lost a lot of seedlings, I'm not a master, but those things have helped me to dial in a little bit and get a better success rate when it comes to those seedlings, man. Because seedlings are where everything starts off and where the magic happens, but it's not where it finishes. You want to make sure that you're in a good place so when you start off, you can finish off in the right place. So smash the like button for that, man. Let me know if you guys got any things that you guys do when it comes to seedlings, any tips, any tricks, any secret recipes or formulas. I share all mine with you guys. So let me know what you guys got. And also join up with the ICANN VIP Beam Club. We got a lot of great stuff. We got some new genetics going out to all VIPs. Main boxes are burning down everywhere, man. So join up if you're a part of the fam. If you're part of the fam, then some good stuff are coming your way, Perfect. man. And if you want to support the channel, support the ICANN fam. Cop a Diesel Dog hoodie, cop a Diesel Dog t-shirt. We got some great designs, some great gear on there for us 420 lovers, stoners, and kind of connoisseurs, man. So smash the like, hit the bell. We'll see you guys super soon. Wait, stay high, stay fly, and check out this video right here, this video right here, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, fam.